Well, you are pricing out mobile family plans because it's battle time again. You may have missed happy scientists at the Pluto press conference, Indiana Jones virtual reality, and policing your pot breath. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where the news is as fresh as your first high bite of a Little Debbie Star Crunch. That happened. The device would provide an instantaneous positive or negative result for the detection of THC. It's 420 Blazers! <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Or actually blaze down if you're getting behind the wheel. A former Canadian Mountie has developed a pot breathalyzer prototype that detects THC. It's designed to use during police traffic stops, but it doesn't detect how much THC is in your body. It's just more of a yes or no thing, but it can detect if the substance has been consumed in the last two hours, which is weirdly the same amount of time it takes to get to the nearest White Castle. Super downer, dude. No, 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 no! Hey guys, let me pay for it. Three, two, one! <laughs> NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made its closest pass by Pluto, coming within 7,800 miles of the surface on Tuesday. And these happy NASA nerds are making my day. My social media accounts are blowing up. I have to ask the question, when will we see color data? Happy squirm! So far, the scientists say there are definitely five regions of distinct terrain, and the planet clearly has weather and a climate. And now that you've seen the picture, is it fair to say that it snows on Pluto? It sure looks that way. <laughs> It took nine years and three billion miles to get there, so NASA will be studying all its data for years to come. When can we go back to Pluto? <laughs> <laughs> also, this guy's planet tie is everything. We would like people to get out of sofas and to use their bodies to move in the virtual reality. Don't worry, fellow cave dwellers. You won't have to face real sunlight just yet. Using a combo of Oculus Rift and motion capture, a Swiss company is helping us reenact our childhood dreams of being Indiana Jones, obviously, with its real virtuality project. It will become a new medium that will allow yourself to be immersed in a virtual environment. Users can walk through a white-walled space and be transported to an ancient pharaoh's tomb, which is obviously the coolest. Mocap sensors allow people to touch and interact with real-life objects that act as torches, hidden doors, and dusty coffins. This isn't living room ready just yet, and unfortunately, it doesn't have reanimated mummies to chop down because they supposedly don't exist. I mean, I hope. I mean, I think it would be cool. Finally, we wanted to show you this awkward but lovable 3D printed thing that is made up of 300 parts and presumably a lot of car model glue. And that is all the weird stuff we could find. See you tomorrow.